So, you're telling me that the two characters in Black Clover without magic are the strongest people in the series? With Asa's devastating anti-magic and Ryuya's all-seeing Tengensu, it's almost like the magic is holding people back. Just saying. Asa got this immense power through a contract with the devil, while Ryuya just went to a cave. Nothing strange about that at all. There has to be more to this ability, and I think I figured it out. So what's the deal with the Tengetsu? It's a special eye that just perceives everything. Abilities in Black Clover are usually explained, so even the more outlandish ones have a good reason. For example, when Lucius changed Sister Lily and the others to make paladins, it was because of soul magic. It is widely believed that souls carry out a person's individuality, and personality to say, so the connection is simple to make. Even with that though, it doesn't explain anything. Soul magic is the power of a devil, which devils at a base level have a much stronger magic compared to normal humans. Plus, it isn't flawless. Lucius gave Sister Lily a new look and even spatial magic, but he wasn't able to change her core personality. We see this when Sister Lily admitted that she didn't want to hurt Asta. What I'm trying to say with that long explanation is that even the strongest magic in the series isn't as perfect or omnipotent as the Tengetsu. So just saying Rhea is a devil host wouldn't be the right answer. Let's look at this history of the power and see if that tells us anything. In the past, Koshu and Goshu, sister islands in the Hino country, were struck by a plague. This plague was so devastating it threatened to end both islands, but for some reason it affected people with weaker magic more drastically. The only cure was a legendary medicinal herb that was thought to be extinct, so how did they find it? With an ass pool, with an all seeing eye of course. We get told that the Tengetsu lies dormant within the land, it is illustrated as a cave wall with an eye looking symbol. However, there's a crack running through that symbol. The thing is, when we get introduced to it, there's a group almost like a council overlooking the cave. They explain that in order to get this power, the person must surrender all of their magic. Rhea accepts the deal and we see him with the ability, but we don't see how he got it. But the fact is, the council knew about the Tengetsu is pretty weird. It's almost like the people and the power live symbiotically. That concept led me to believe that a spirit might be involved. To refresh everyone's memory, spirit magic is a rare type of magic that allows the user to summon an elemental spirit. We've seen Silk the Wind Spirit, Salamander the Fire Spirit, and Undyne the Water Spirit. Now I have a fear of cooking up, but there has to be more evidence than that. There needs to be more. And for that, we have to look at Japanese philosophy. In Japan, there is something called Godai, which are essentially the five elements. That's right, five. So it's a normal avatar speech. There's water, earth, fire, air, or, or wind, plus one additional, void. These elements go beyond just the physical forms, but are seen in two other aspects, emotions and martial arts. And I'm gonna mispronounce all of this, so please forgive me, but let's start with water, or sui. It's associated with thoughtfulness and defensiveness, as well as adaptability and flexibility. Like when someone goes with the flow, they are down for anything and nothing really seems to bother them. And fighting is often seen as defensive footwork, allowing the opponent to attack first and leave them open for counterattacks. Earth or Chi is seen as being stable, centered, to the point of stubbornness sometimes. In martial arts, this means that Chi focuses on power and strength, being able to hold ground and have a pretty dominating presence. Fire or Ka is a very obvious connection to make as it is related to passion, motivation, desire, things that push a person forward. The common saying of a fiery spirit translates perfectly to this. This can also be seen when talking about martial arts. Aggression is their main selling point, using high energy attacks and foregoing defense, because if you attack so much that the opponent can't get any hits in, then you're pretty much defending. Wind or Fu is connected to open-mindedness, being carefree, going with the wind. It can also be associated with evasiveness. In martial arts, Fu is the ability to be resilient as it focuses on evasive moves and redirecting attacks. Now these concepts are perfectly aligned with the spirits in their host in Black Clover. You know, oh my god, I can't pronounce anything anyway, apparently. You know, Vigilinan? Nope, but I'm not going to try to do it again. And Lola Pechka are good examples of these elements in action. There's still one more element, Void or Ku. You see, Boy is a bit more complex, like, you know, everything? Yeah, that's it, the concept of everything. You know how it, like, 
exists. So think of the energy everything is made up of, then stop. That emptiness, that antithesis of energy, that's void. Emotionally, Ku is seen as thought or creativeness, the spirit in a way. While martial arts, it focuses on spontaneous fighting and just being inventive. It is also stated that a warrior in tune with Ku can sense their surroundings without using their physical senses. And boom, a connection is made. I think that Ryuya, just like Yuno, has a spirit called the boy spirit that lives in his eye. But we haven't really talked about the Tengetsu itself, like what's with that? Well, that comma shape itself is a very popular Japanese symbol called the Tomoi. The origin of the Tomoi is not certain. Some believe they symbolize archers as many Hanawa terracotta figurines or clay figures use that symbol to depict those bold wielders. There are also leather arm protectors that had this symbol on them and guess who wore them? That's right, archers. And archers in sight go hand in hand as in order to hit anything with an arrow you have to have at least pretty good sight. Many of you know Tomoi but in a different form, the Mitsudomi or threefold Tomoi. Yes, it's the Sharingan, an ability that is associated with enhanced sight heavily. You can say that Tomoi is an archaic version of the Mitsudomi, so Ryu's Tengetsu is a predecessor of the Uchiha's Sharingan. I know the Sharingan has a one Tomoi version, but I have to make a comparison between Naruto and Black Clover. It's like a law at this point. Interestingly enough, in Shinto religion, the three Tomoi or Mitsudomi represent man, earth, and sky. Remember Void or Ku? It turns out that Ku can translate to sky, heaven, and sometimes environment. I think Ryuya is the Mitsudomi himself. He is the man, while the boy spirit is the sky. And it was found in what? A cave, the ground, the earth. So when he used the Tengensu, it only shows one repeating Tomoi, that of the void spirit. Hino Country's magic is a bit different than that of the Clover Kingdom. They are more in the past. For example, instead of Grimmars, they use scrolls. So who's to say that the spirits or even devils aren't in a more archaic form? A more nebulous idea not taking the shape of a human or animal, but that of a concept or idea. Since void is the opposite of energy, I think this boy spirit feeds up magic, just like a black hole absorbing light. It just doesn't stop. A person with strong magic is the only one who can wield the power properly as it's a constant power source for a spirit to keep it satiated. So here's my whole theory. Hina Country was just chilling, doing his thing. There's a little creature, the Void Spirit. This spirit absorbs the magic everywhere it goes, causing plagues similar to what happened in Ryuya's time. Even with the magic sickness, the spirit told the people of Hino that of a miracle cure, but in order for it to work, the source of it needed to leave, the spirit itself. Think about it. If you're sick and everyone around you is sick, you can't start to get better until you're in a different, healthier place. So the spirit, either self-isolated or driven out, went underground with the eye marking the location and when the time came to find a cure, then Ryu volunteered. What do you guys think? I know it's a bit out there, but there has to be more to this Tengetsu that we don't know about yet. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Alright, peace.